Confirmed coronavirus cases, once they're identified, contact tracers can work to help slow the spread of transmission. So how exactly does it work and how can you help in the fight? Here's 41 Action News I-Team investigator Jessica McMaster. The main purpose of using contact tracing for COVID-19 is to help track down people who may have come into contact with an infected person to help mitigate the spread of the illness. Now let's talk about the virus that causes COVID-19. Johns Hopkins University is looking for contact tracers. You start by filling out information about yourself, then take a series of courses. For this incubation period can range from two to 14 days, but on average is about five days. The courses educate you on various aspects of the virus from the incubation period to the amount of time a person should isolate themselves after exposure and symptoms. If someone is experiencing chest pain when breathing, this is a serious symptom and they should seek immediate care. The courses also give you tools to help track down those who've been in recent contact with a person who's become infected. At the end of each course, you take a quiz. Which of these COVID-19 symptoms require immediate urgent care? So why contact tracing? It's been used for infectious disease control for decades. Dr. Alan Greiner with the Wyandotte County Health Department says contact tracing is proven effective in preventing the spread of infectious disease. We always have active tuberculosis cases where we're we're following up with whoever they've been in contact with. COVID-19 is highly contagious, which means we need more contact tracers than before. And if they've had contact with a whole lot of people, it's a lot of phone calls and a, and a lot of conversations. So we need more. We, we know we need more here in, in this region. We, we really probably need more all over the United States. <laughs> New smartphone apps and Bluetooth technology can also help pinpoint the spread of coronavirus based on a person's location. However, some people have expressed privacy concerns tied to the data collected. Health officials say it's necessary. Germany is doing better when it comes to deaths than in the U.S. In Germany, there are about 10 COVID-19 deaths per 100,000 people. The death rate is three times higher here in the U.S. despite more stringent lockdown measures. If we don't do well with, with contact tracing, we, we don't do well with controlling the spread of the virus. Becoming a tracer is simple. So it took me about an hour and a half to get to the final assessment here. It's a 40 minute quiz. You have two chances to get it right. Let's see how I did. And it looks like I passed. If you want to become a contact tracer, you can reach out to your local health department or you can look for an online course like I did with Johns Hopkins University. I'm investigator Jessica McMaster, 41 Action News.